Hey there, just gonna take you guys through another edit. Today's image is Burn Me Again. You may have seen it on my DeviantArt account. So let's get started. So first I'm going up to Image Adjustments and let's see here. We'll go with Levels. And I'm bringing in my, checking in my lights and now my mediums. Brought my mediums down just a tiny bit which made it a little brighter and I brought in just a little bit of contrast with the darks now I am using curves So I'm just bringing in a little bit more darks, just a slim amount of lights and kind of controlling my shadows. Now I'm going up and I am going for my burn tool and mid-tones and I'm bringing in the side of my face there and hair just a little bit to add a tiny bit more contrast to it. Now we're going in with the shadows since I made it a little darker and really pumping that uh, shadow in on my hair area. So I tried a little bit of highlights there and didn't really like it, so I pulled it back out. Now I'm going back in with the burn tool and I'm going to burn out some of my midsection there and really darken it out. I'm trying this this piece is going for a darker theme, uh, a more serious look, so I'm trying to really make it have an impact. I also pulled a little more of my shadows into those reds there to really make them pop. You may have noticed me making red increases like this in past images in my DeviantArt gallery. Now I'm going in to work on the face. And this piece will be a little different from other pieces I do with general makeup touches. I'm really going for a, a more serious look in this piece. so. I'm going to increase, I'm going, instead of removing wrinkles and stuff like that, I'm actually going to increase those facial details. And see, I'm going in there and I'm dodging out the highlights in my eyes just a little bit to give them that kind of supernatural bright look. Now I'm going in with the shadows just a little bit to pump back in the color where I pulled it out with the brights. And that adds just all the contrast if you're removing those mediums by pulling out some highlights and then pushing in some darks with your burn tool and dodge tool. Now, with the burn tool, I am going to go in and enhance my shadows. You can see right there, I just lining it over the eyes, kind of pulling in the dark furrow of the eyes and the uh, nose wrinkle. 
the ridge wrinkles. Enhancing the color of the lips a little bit by adding just a touch more shadow to it. And I'll just change the size of my brush. I know you guys can't see the different sizes of my brush, but um, when you're thinking about it, you just kind of want to affect the area you want to affect, so your brush size should match that. If your brush size is too small, then you'll leave a lot of brush residue behind that kind of shows off that you're doing the work you're doing. Now I'm going in and I'm actually enhancing the highlights and shadows of my hair just to make them stand out a little bit more. So I just enhanced my highlights and one thing you can always think about is when you dodge most of the time you're going to be pulling color out if you're using your mid-tones if you're dodging or burning and if you are using your highlights or shadows on either end you're going to be pulling color in now a lot of the foot the foliage in this shot the greeneries around me are rather bright so I'm going to go through and tone those down with my burn tool as you can see just kind of pull the attention away from the bright spots and the environment around me and kind of make me the center of attention. Now I'm going in with my shadows and I got a huge brush size and I'm just brushing around the edges of the image and didn't quite like the look I got out of that first attempt with the burn tool. Let's see going through. Yeah, I pulled it back a little bit because it was too dark for my preferences. Now, going in with selective color as I showed you guys in my last video and I'm affecting the reds. Obviously I don't want it that dark so I'm going to push it back a little bit but adding more reds more shadows to the reds I can make it darker or lighter depending on which way I go but I, I opt for a little more red to really make this piece have impact it also increases the detail in my face making it just that little bit more extreme looking So there you have it. You are now looking at my finished image. It has come quite a ways.